ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say thank you for the opportunity. Elaine and I have been coming as a far away over 20 years. I remember the first time when I saw Elaine. When my brother took Elaine to me and said, you know, this is my expected wife. You know, we had a good chat and we talked, we laughed. But one of the things that I've been most missed about Elaine is that, especially my girls, they're always looking forward for Christmas cake and sorrel. The other day, Abigail said to me that no more sorrel, no more Christmas cake. But we want to appreciate all those who, you might say, not a word of condolence. For those who send monetary gift, we appreciate it. And we just want to say thank you to all who even take the time out to view with us, to mourn with us. We want to thank everyone that are here. And um, we just want to thank you because you could have been elsewhere. Or you could have been otherwise minded. But because of the life that Elaine lives, we have to take the time out, the sacrifice to ensure that we do this, what we do best. We want to also thank the Montego Bay Metro team for being here. We want to thank also Reverend Logan Burnett uh, that also she left earlier. And I also want to thank Pastor Arwood and Pastor Dean and all the officiating persons that were here. Just want to say thank you. And may God richly bless you. And Elaine life will never go in vain because she has touched many lives, including mine. And I just want to say to Jay, her son, and her only son, that trust me, he's been in good hands. And he's with us and all of us. This is also my brother. And he's also, you know, very supportive of my nephew and our nephew. I want to say thanks to Cordell, to Unclair, to Kadisha, and you know, all the other family members that ensure that we have this and make it a day so eventful. God bless you and have a great day. She's a very, very black lady. Every time she comes around, I always have to laugh. Um, her cooking is very good. I just don't know. When I heard about it, it was just so distraught. But I don't know. Not everybody have a lot of words to say about it, but I know that she was a very good lady. She's just, if you're around her, you can't be sad. If you are sad, then something is wrong with you. Because she's always full of life. She's so vibrant. She's just, she's just so fun to be around. And it's just sad to see that this is the end result. But, you know, we just have to leave everything in God's hands. Because this is a situation that's bigger than our capabilities. So... I just got to she leave a legacy and I'm grateful for what she did for it. Take it easy, you know. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. You May I just take it easy? Hey, yeah, man. May I just take it easy, you know. All right. Okay, and also Christine say hi, hi, Papa. That's Christine Mohab, and Sherry say love you, Dad. And also Charmaine Campbell say love you, Dad. Yeah, man. All right. Love you. Are you know we move? Oh, yeah, man. 
All right. So we'll be going over here, Chad. Yeah. Okay. One link. I'm a bad man. Look at all this. 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 Look